right, today we are starting on ellipses. Just a reminder, guys, you have your quiz on Thursday over this information, okay? So you need to be quiet right now. You need to be working on this. You need to not be listening to your music right now. You need to be doing this, okay? We have a quiz over circles and ellipses on Thursday. Okay, so an ellipse is cut out of a cone and it looks like this in this direction. An ellipse is a set of points such that the sum of the distance from any point on the ellipse to two fixed points remains constant. These fixed points are called foci. F-O-C-I of the ellipse. We usually call them focus points because there's two of them. Okay? The distance from one plus the distance of two remains constant for all points on the ellipse. The distance between these two focus points, between this focus point, excuse me, and an end point, plus the distance between this focus point and this end point, if we add those together, it stays fixed. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit because I'm doing some vocabulary here. I want you to be able to see it. Major axis is longer axis of symmetry. Okay. The minor axis is the shorter axis of symmetry. The central point at which the major and minor axis is intersect is your center. Okay. Vertices, the endpoints of the major axis. We call them the vertices, the endpoints of the major axis. And covertices, which are the endpoints of the minor axis. So this is all vocab I will expect you guys to know and understand. The foci or focus points, the fact that the distance between an end point and one focus point and the distance point between the second focus point and the end point remains the same. Major axis, minor axis, center, vertices, and covertices. Those are all things that you guys are going to have to know. Okay. All right. This is a horizontal ellipse. Okay, it's kind of turned on its side. So we're just going to kind of label each of these things on here so you understand what they mean. So this is the major axis right here on the bottom. Okay, it's longer. So it's the major one. These right here, those are the vertices. These right here, this is the minor axes. And so these right here, these are the covertices. There's a lot of information written on here, but I just want you guys to see where it is. That's the center. And this is the focus points are right here. Those are your focus points. Okay, why don't you guys take a second and see if we turn it, turn it sideways, what is, for the vertical ellipse, what are each of these things, and I'm going to ask you in just one second. Okay, so let's talk real quick. What is the major axis? Is it the one going up and down or right to left? Right to left. The major axis. Oh. What is the major axis? Say it is always Larger. longer. So which one is that? This one. This is the major. I'm going to just put MA for major axis. Okay, so that makes this one the minor. 
which means these two must be the vertices. So these two are the co-vertices. And these right here, those are the focus points. Okay? So really, horizontal versus vertical means it changes the direction of my major axis. Okay? And where the foc uh, focus points are and where the vertices and co-vertices are. Okay? The vertices, we always talk about them when we talk about the formula for, excuse me, for ellipses is, is plus or minus A. The co-vertices are plus or minus B units from the center. The length of the ma major axis is always 2 times whatever A is. And the length of the minor axis is always 2 times whatever B is. And with focus points, we talk about plus or minus C. The formula to find C, excuse me, shh, is C squared equals A squared minus B squared. That looks a lot like what formula? Anybody remember A squared plus B squared equals C squared? That's the Pythagorean theorem. Notice what's in between A S squared and B squared for this one. It's a negative. Don't get it mixed up. This is not the Pythagorean theorem. Make sure you don't mistake that. That's a big mistake that people make when they get this and then they get the answer wrong. Okay? Standard form when you're, my center is at zero is x squared over a squared plus b squared, x, y squared, excuse me, y squared over b squared, and it equals one. And that's the same for a horizontal or a vertical. Except when we change from horizontal to vertical, we switch the bottom. So we can tell right here if it's horizontal or vertical, okay? Standard form, that means if we have any other number besides the center being zero, we're gonna say x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals one. So since we switched this for zero, what do you think the bottoms of these are gonna be? The top's still going to be x minus h squared and y minus k squared, and it's still going to equal 1. But what's the bottom of x minus h squared going to be? Is it going to be a or b? B. I'm so glad you guys are participating right now. And y minus k squared is going to be a. Questions? so far before we try some of these out. Okay, there are eight of them here. We do not have to do all eight, but we'll see how quickly you catch on and how much more you guys want to work on it. Okay, anybody need another second for this page? Okay, and then I'll turn it over. Okay, turn it. Okay, now it tells you right here at the very top what steps we need to take. We need to write the equation in standard form. We need to graph the center. We need to graph the vertices. We need to graph the co-vertices. And then we need to use the formula c squared equals a squared minus b squared to find the foci points or the focus points. So first I'm going to check to see, is this in standard form? We've got x squared on top and y squared on top. Nothing's being added to it, which means what's my center? If nothing's being added to x or y, what's my center? Do you guys remember? Zero, zero. Okay. Now I want to find out what a or b is. So right here, the smaller one is four. So if the smaller one is 4, I have to look at it being in this order. 
The smaller one's under B. So I already know this is going to be a vertical ellipse. So then B squared equals 4. So what is B equal, guys? 2. Good. And if A squared equals 36, what is A equal? 6. Okay? So this is how we make our vertices. We've got 0, 6, and 0, negative 6. Okay, we know that because the center is there, and this is the distance from the center. Now, my co-vertices is my smaller one. So if this was 0, 6, and 0, negative 6, what do you think my co-vertices are? 0 what? 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Good. Okay, now the hard part is to find those foci, each focus point. So we're going to go c squared equals a squared minus b squared, and then we just literally plug these things in, or these things. c squared equals 36 minus 4. 36 minus 4 is 32. And then we take the square root of 32, and we do want to find a decimal equivalent of it is fine. So c is approximately 5.66. So that's 0, 5.66 and 0, negative 5.66. Okay, now we're ready to graph it after we have these things. So first thing I'm going to do is graph my center as 0, 0. And then I have my vertices as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6. I have my co-vertices of 2 and negative 2. 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Oops, scar sorry, this is incorrect. This is 2, comma, 0, and negative 2, comma, 0. Sorry, I put it backwards because the axis should come first. And then my foci point are 0, 5.6, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a little bit, 5, and a little bit. And then make sure you don't go through your um, focus points or foci points, but you go through the... Um, co-vertices and vertices. How are we feeling so far? Kind of crazy? Don't even know. Okay. Let's take this a little bit slower than for number two as we're going through this. Okay. Which one is bigger, 64 or 25? 64. And it's under the x value, so I know my a squared is 64 and my b squared is 25. That's telling me that it goes this way. Okay? Now, is anything being added to x or y? Is there a number being added to x or y? No. So my center is 0, 0. Okay? Second, we're going to find those vertices. What's the square root of 64? 8. Eight. Eight. And it's on the x-axis. That means I've got 8, 0 and negative 8, 0. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Do I have questions so far? We feel okay about how I got those? All right. What's the square root of 25? 5. That's under the y, right? So under co-vertices, I'm going to put um, 0, 5 and 0, negative 5. Everybody okay so far with those? Yep. Understand how I got them? Took the square root. It was under the y value, so it had to be listed second. Mm -hmm. It was smaller, so it was under co-vertices. All those things. Okay. The last part is we just follow this formula. It's right here at the top in case you forgot it. We're going to take c squared equals a squared minus b squared. This is going to find our focus point or our foci point. C squared equals 64 minus 25. What's 64 minus 25? It's 39. And then I'm going to take the square root of 39, and I'm going to find out that C is approximately 6.24. So remember, the bigger ones are on the x-axis. So I'm going to put 6.24, 0, 
and negative 6.24 comma 0. Okay. Now I'm going to graph each of these things on my list over here. First is my center, 0, 0. Then my vertices, I'm going to go over 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and negative 8. Then I'm going to go over my co-vertices, which is 0, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, please no music in my classroom right now. I am in the middle of lecturing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My focus points are 6.24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, in a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, in a little bit. Make sure these outside ones, you draw the circle around, and that's your lips. Okay, I want to do at least the next two because um, they have numbers with their x's. So we're going to talk about how those look a little bit different. Okay, first thing let's talk about is our center. Are there things being added or subtracted to x and y? Yes? Okay, so just like our circles, it's the opposite of these. So this is negative 1, positive 2 is my center. And that's going to make our vertices and our co-vertices a little bit different. Okay, which one is bigger, 49 or 9? 49, so that's our A. Okay, that's going to go under here under vertices. Okay, it is going to be what we're going to do to our X value. Now, see our center, see our Y value here? That's going to stay the same. Those are going to be at 2. Okay, what we're going to do right now is change our X value. So this is going to look a little bit different. What's the square root of 49? 7. I'm not going to put 7 here. I'm going to go 7 minus 1 is 6. And negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. Okay? So I took 7 and I added it to negative 1 and then I took negative 7 and added it to negative 1. Okay? Because the vertices are the distance from the center. So when the center was 0, 0, I didn't change it. But when the center, gentlemen in the back, please be quiet. When this, yeah, don't right now. When the center changed, I changed it. All right. B squared equals 9. So what is B equal, guys? 3. Okay? Remember the co-vertices is along... The y-axis, so my x value doesn't change. I kept that as negative 2. But now we're going to go 3 plus what? 2 and negative 3 plus 2. So 3 plus 2 gives me 5. And negative 3 plus 2 gives me negative 1. Okay, it's a little weird. All right, my foci are or each of my focus points are on which axis? Which one's longer, the vertices or the co-vertices? Vertices. vertices. So that means my y value is going to stay the same. Now to find my focus point, remember I'm going to go c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So c squared equals 49 minus 9. So c squared equals 40. So C is approximately 6.32. So I'm going to have to go 6.32 minus 1, giving me 5.32, and 6.32, negative 6.32 minus 1, giving me negative 7.32. It's a little weirder when I have a number there instead of a center. So I'm going to go 6. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 2, and negative 8, 2. My co-vertices are going to be negative 1, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 1, negative 1. And my focus points are 5.32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
one, two, three, four, five, and a little bit. And my other one is negative 7.32. So right there is my ellipse. And my center is that negative 1, 2 right there. Okay? So it just looks like I took it and I shifted it sideways. Shifted it to the left a little bit. And up a little bit. Okay. Number four. My center right away is the opposite of this. So that's 3, 1. Please don't talk while I'm talking. Shh. Okay. 25 is bigger, so I know that's my a squared. So a is 5. And remember, that's plus and minus 5. Okay? And since my vertices are all along the x-axis, that means my y value doesn't change. But I'm going to have to go 5 plus 3 and 5, negative 5 plus 3. So I'm going to have 8, 1 and negative 2, 1. Okay? b squared equals 4, so b equals 2, plus or minus 2, okay? So that means my x value here doesn't change because this is my co-vertices. And so I'm going to go 2 plus 1 and negative 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, okay? Now I have to find my focus point, c squared equals a squared, um, Minus b squared. Shh. So c squared equals 25 minus 4. So c squared equals 21. So c is approximately 4.58. Okay? And that's 4.58, positive 4.58 plus 3. And 4.58, negative 4.58 plus 3. So we get 7.58, comma 1 and negative 1.58 comma 1. And then we're going to graph it starting with our center. We're going to go over 3 up 1. Our vertices over 8 up 1, over negative 2 up 1. Our co-vertices, which are going to be um, 1, 2, 3, 3, and 3, negative 1. And our focus point, 7.8. 1 and negative 1.581. You can see them right there. Okay, I at least need to do number 6 because you're going to have one like that on your homework. So number 6, shh. Number 6 is 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. So the first thing I'm going to do is I can't have 144 here. I need to have a 1. Okay? I can't have that 144. It needs to be 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide everything by 144. Okay? So once I do that, I'm going to get x squared over 16 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. Okay, and then this is pretty easy, right? Because what's the center for this? The center for these is 0, 0. Okay. The vertices A is going to be 16 squared. It's going to be, yeah, A squared equals 16. So A is going to equal 4. We need to not be listening to music right now. Okay. So my vertices are 4, 0 and negative 4, 0. Okay? Co-vertices, 9 squared equals, uh, b squared equals 9. So b equals 3. So that's 3, 0, oh, excuse me, 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. And then it's just my um, focus points. c squared equals 16 minus 9. So C is approximately 2.65. So that's 2.65 comma 0, negative 2.65 comma 0. 
So the hard part was knowing that you had to divide by this to get one and then it was an easy problem. And then this is three and then this is negative three. And then we're at 2.65 and 12.65, and that is our circle. Okay, I do want to do just one more because, again, you're going to have ones like this on your homework. Yep. I'm going to move it up a little bit, but I'll leave it up there. Okay, I have crazy stuff over here where I don't have just one number. I have two different x's. So this is the whole completing the square, where I'm going to move it over. x squared minus 10x plus 4y squared equals negative 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of that negative 10, and I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Okay? And I'm going to add, excuse me, I'm going to add 25 to both sides, because I'm going to take half of negative 10 and then square it. This is going to leave me with x minus 5 squared plus 4y squared equals 16. I can't have that 16 in the front, do we agree? That 16 equals 16 at the end? Excuse me, that's not the front, that's the end. So just like this one, I'm going to divide everything by 16. That's going to leave me with x minus 5 squared over 16 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. Okay, so now my center is going to be the opposite of what's an x, so that's 5, but y squared isn't being added to anything, so that's going to be 0. Then I'm going to say a squared equals 16 because it's bigger, so a equals plus or minus 4. So my vertices are going to be 4 plus 5 is 9 comma 0. And 5 plus a negative 4 is 1. And then my co-vertices are going to be b squared equals 4. So b equals plus or minus 2. So that's going to be 0 comma 2 and 0 comma negative 2. Oops, not 0, 5. Apologize, because that 5 right there. And 5 comma negative 2. And then my focus point, I'm going to put it up here because I run out of room, is going to be c squared equals 16 minus 4. So c is approximately 3.46. And remember that's plus or minus. So we got to add it to this 5. So that's 8.46 comma 0 and 1.46. One point four six, comma zero, and then we're gonna graph it. We're gonna go over, up, uh, over five, up zero. One, two, three, four, five, and my vertices are going to be um, nine zero, which is off there, and one zero, which is right there. My co-vertices are five two, and five negative two. And then my focus points are 8.460 and 1.460. And that's the end. And that's all I'm going to do for today. The rest is your homework.